Hey, what's going on there, my friend? Welcome to another beautiful day here on Drill Maverick. We're going to talk about the DJI Spark controller, everything you're going to want to learn, and let's just get right into it. Your DJI remote comes with several buttons right on the front of it. Your power button, press it twice and hold to turn it on. Customizable button, we'll get into it later. Sport mode for speed. A pause button where you can pause mid-flight and a return to home position. To ascend in the air, press the left joystick upward, and to descend, press the left joystick downward. Yaw left and yaw right is the ability to rotate your drone left to right. Forward and reverse motion are with the right joystick. Simply move it up or down and you will go forward or reverse. Panning to the right, panning to the left is also used on the right hand joystick. With your antennas facing the opposite of each other, they are omnidirectional. Slide this cone shape adapter on for long range use. To connect your phone to your remote, simply open the bottom and slide your phone right in. The micro USB port on the bottom of your remote is where you connect to your phone and to charge the remote. A second customizable button is at the top of the remote. Press here to take a picture and press here to start recording the video. Rotate the dial to move the camera's gimbal up and down. Double click and hold your spark to turn it on and do the exact same thing with the remote so that we can pair the two together. Press and hold the two customizable buttons with the pause button to start the linking process. Press and hold the battery on your spark for three seconds. Great, now that they're paired, let's fly this thing. Click the link in the upper right hand corner to see five cool drone tricks that you can do with your spark. Remote control settings. Tap the three little dots in the upper right hand corner. Tap the icon that looks like the remote. Remote control calibration is not really necessary because as soon as you get your controller, it's already been calibrated by the manufacturer. Under the stick mode, you want to select the one that's most intuitive for you. I personally go with mode 2, it just feels right to me. And I set the maximum flight speed to fast. What I love about button customization is that you get to pick from a wide variety of things. Navigation brings you to the quick shots, which allows you to like, oh I want to just, you know, highlight this, this shot, you know, really quickly. You press the button and you're ready to go. The advanced camera settings brings you instantly to your drone's camera. Select from auto or manual functions. Your drone also comes with some very attractive photo features and allows you to be super, super creative. Takeoff and landing feature allows you to land your drone while you're in the air or take off right from the, flo right from the ground. Playback gives you the option of viewing videos and photos that you have already made. Battery info simply brings you straight to the battery's information. With the auto exposure on, you can lock the camera settings that you like best. Camera forward down. Look straight ahead or look straight down instantaneously. This is a great feature if you're flying over water or over some structure. Gimbal Follow FPV Mode. This allows your drone to stay even with the, the camera of the drone to stay even with the horizon so that you can have a nice cinematic shot. FPV Mode will lock the gimbal camera so that it tilts as your drone tilts. Quickly toggle the map so that you can view the, uh, the flight path of your drone instantly. You want to tap the little, you want to tap the center of the radar to get that going, and then you can hit the customizable button. Clear flight route is great for the other customizable button, which gives you a fresh start. Personally, I like advanced camera settings and camera forward down. And so that's the DJI Spark remote. So if you want to learn more about the DJI Spark, you can go ahead and click here. If you want to learn about 13 drone mistakes that people are making, go ahead and click right here. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and hit click on this button right here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.
Bye for now.